channel and as you can see by the title of today's video I will be doing a part two on how to transition without hormones for all of my trans girls out there okay period and before we get into this video make sure you follow me on my social media which will be at the top or the bottom of the screen below make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video and with that being said let's get into the video girl Do your research on what the hormones do to your body, all the things that come with being transgender. Is that something you want to go through or experience? Because I know with me, I had to do my research and I did it well. There's nothing that I'm not going to be surprised about or shocked about. Like, for, for example, there is a painful process in your transition is when your boobs start to grow and they get tender. So I'm glad I knew and found out about that before I decided to transition because say it was it was to happen to me I probably would be like oh my gosh I can't do this it hurts so bad but now I am ready for the pain and that's what that's the first thing that I'm going to be looking forward to when I start my hormones is the pain so make sure you guys are doing your research um on every single thing like do a thorough research on what it means to be transgender and what you're going to experience on your transition and things like that you guys all right you guys this is something that i wish i did before i decided to transition but sis i didn't like the look of me having a full head of hair but now that i'm about to transition i feel that it's necessary to have all of my hair on my head i do have this sides um, like shaved but they're growing in right now but if you guys watch my previous videos um, you know the style I would wear with the shaved um, side look but I don't want that no more since I'm going to be transforming into the bad bitch that I am I just decided that I want to go ahead and grow my hair out and um, unfortunately for me I have to cut all my hair off either next week or the week after that so I can just um, go ahead and just get all of that there so I can go ahead and have a full head of hair so I can get like braids and other stuff like that and that's another thing that you can do to feminize yourself is grow your hair out so that way when you do transition your hair will grow in place and you can do ponytails and do whatever you want to so growing your hair out is my second step that I suggest for you guys to do like to cover is extensions and wigs girl when getting extensions and wigs you need to make sure your stuff is on fleek okay girl like you see how my wig is on fleek I'm gonna give you guys a 360 you see how flat my hair is do not get no synthetic hair please do not get synthetic hair and synthetic hair this does not look good on antibody unless you know how to finesse and do hair and make it look cute but when getting extensions and wigs make sure they are flat make sure um you don't have a heel like i said flatness is key like this you see how flat this is honey make sure your wigs are flat girl and make sure you get in bomb quality hair if you guys want me to do a video on where to get the best hair from i will do a video or where to get your wigs made at then i will do a video on that but when it comes to your hair your hair has to be laid flat like i said flat 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 is key make sure you're getting color colors that complement your skin not make you look manly if i don't you can't get what i'm trying to say don't get any colors that you're gonna look crazy in okay like that's all i have to say about getting wigs and extensions make sure it's quality um it's not and make sure you get the right people to do your hair because anything can make you look like a man or get you clogged even if your hair is not done correctly so please ladies get quality extensions and wigs you guys and that is it for my third step the fourth thing you could do is get feminine undergarments Basically get women's underwear. Stop wearing men's underwear or boxes or whatever you're wearing and transfer over to women's. I like wearing like the panty style underwear. Um, the tight ones that fit tight on you and give you a nice shape. Like oh my god in my underwear. It's give the body is giving like my butt is plump back there and the front is flat honey like I could go walk go out with some booty shorts on and nothing will be poking out because the panties I can tuck 
and it will just be flat honey you may have to redo it a couple of times but it stays flat during the most of the day and I will go ahead and insert a picture on the panties and underwear that I suggest that you guys go ahead and get for that but that is one thing you can do is get feminine undergarments <laughs> The fifth thing that you can do without transitioning, without being on hormones, is start saving pictures of how you want to look when you get done transitioning or surgeries you want to get while you're transitioning. Now that includes getting your face done, looking at YouTube videos and things like that, and see what you want your face to look like, what you want to change on your face when you get your FFS. And then with that, getting your boobs know what type of boobs you want how big you want them you know how you want them to sit how you want the girls to be do you want a, a big chest or do you want a little cute chest like i'm going to get and when doing that please do not make your decisions based off of other women it's a lot of trans girls that have big titties like super big they don't look proportional with their body they look a mess so please, when you're doing your research on how you want your body, look for stuff that's going to fit your body and complement you and be in proportion with your body. I see a lot of trans girls that just look a mess. Not in the face, but in the body, it just it just looks like a man that just has boobs and the ass. So yes, make sure you're looking at how you want your body to be done. Even when you, if you're planning on getting bottom surgery, go look up doctors that do bottom surgery and see like which doctor makes makes it look like an actual vagina because I know some doctors they make it it looks it don't look like a vagina it looks like he split the balls in half so make sure you're going to look for everything that you want in your body and saving pictures and inspirations of how you guys want to look and that would just make you even feel my feel more like oh yes bitch when I get in, when I get done with my hormones and stuff like that oh bitch I'm gonna look like this I'm gonna get this done you're gonna be happy and it's gonna make you feel good because I'm still in the process of, of looking on I know how I want my body I see it I see how I want my body every day but I just haven't saw nobody with the body that I want because everybody goes for the big butt and the big boobs look and I don't want to do that I mean I want a nice a nice butt that fits me not too big or not too small but just a butt that's just right for me you guys so that is the fifth thing you guys can do without being on hormones the sixth thing that i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys is changing your pronouns instead of people calling you he him mr make them call you all the women pronouns do is changing the bathroom you use now this could be kind of tricky now I'm gonna be honest with you because a lot of people would be beating around a bush if you look like a man in a fucking wig and you have on makeup and everything I would not suggest this for you this is for girls for other trans girls who aren't on hormones um, that look like a woman like me and can go in public and use the bathroom and nobody clock them. Because if you go in the bathroom, they're going to be like, oh, you need to get out. This is a man in the bed. Get him out of the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. Get her out of the bed. They're going to call you a he, first of all. So just make sure for this step, if you're fish and you're pretty and you look, you can pass without hormones, go ahead and start using women's bathrooms. Now, with me, I only go to women's bathroom when I'm in Vegas. Um, I went to a bathroom I felt kind of weird because I felt like people was going to clock me. But girl, no. Everybody was just minding their business and I walked in the bathroom and used it. And I went to another woman's bathroom while I was at the club too. So, it just feels so good just to go in the women's bathroom and I be clocked. Okay, girl. And I'm not on hormones either. Boo at all. Didn't start hormones or nothing. This is just makeup and stuff. I have to reassure that because some people think I'm on hormones and no, baby. This is no hormones over here. Number eight, the last thing you guys can do is change your name illegally. Now with this, this process can be pricey, like $500, but um, if you have like a therapist that specializes in um, transgender, um, transgender youth and transgender people, period, and the LGBT, they would have some papers for you on how you can go about getting your name changed without having to pay $500. Like if I was to go out to LA or Vegas, I would have to take a certain class to go get my name changed. 
and then it would be free and I wouldn't have to pay anything in Delaware I don't know I have to look that up but at the same time when you go and get your name changed you're gonna have to get your picture taken so make sure you're dressed up as that next sex now yeah you have to get your name legally changed girl because let me tell you I need to get mine done because I'm going to Vegas in November if everything is still open by then and I hope they don't shut everything back down when we get back into winter because I'm going to be so pissed off but nonetheless I just don't want to be going to the clubs looking all pretty as stuff and they look at my ID and it's a boy like that is so embarrassing especially if I'm going like to a top notch club like I'm not talking about the LGBT clubs in Vegas. I'm talking about top notch where the celebrities go, bitch. I, that's going to be so embarrassing. So, yes, that's why you want to go ahead and get your name legally changed and stuff. Especially if you're my age. Now, if you're a little bit younger, you're going to have to wait until you're 18 to go get this process done. Or if your parents support you, go ahead and get your name changed now. And that's another thing. If you're too young, this is something that you can do. And if your parents support you, then they can go ahead and go ahead and get your name changed. But make sure when you go that you have you know you're dressed up as a sex that you feel like you are which is a woman honey but that is my eight ways on how to transition without hormones part two i will be doing other trans related videos so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching bye babies